The following video is a short sample of what your intervention should be. Therefore, the length has been shortened from the original. The team carrying out the intervention are former students of English for Health Sciences 5. They recorded the video with a real audience, level 6 students from the general English programme. The video is just a guide for you to design your intervention. You can use it as a basis to identify aspects you can improve or reinforce in your own campaign. You should design creative activities that you believe will convey your message effectively and encourage the audience to interact. Ask questions, give opinions, and why not tell a story? Remember, the most important aspects to be covered in your intervention should be clear objectives, clear language, and the interaction with your audience. Do not forget to rehearse and make sure you respect the time limits. Good afternoon, we are a specialized team from the Caribbean Institute for Disease Promotion and Prevention. My name is Maria Jose Laos and I am the Medical Health Coordinator of the team. My name is Daniela Torres and I am the Senior Communication Specialist of the team. My name is Aleta Sarmiento and I am the Epidemiologist of the team. We are here today to talk to you about a health problem that can affect both men and women. Uh, this type of disease can cause several types of cancer, especially cancer, cervical cancer. We are talking about the human papilloma virus. Uh, the, the objective of this health campaign is, to, is the need for more awareness about this topic. According to the HPV Center, we have that this can cervical cancer is the second most frequent type of cancer among women in Colombia and is the first most frequent in women between 15 and 44 years old. Uh, the objectives of this health campaign are raise awareness about HPV, possible treatments and prevention, reduce the number of cases of HPV at Uninor. As Dr. Sarmiento mentioned previously, women between 15 and 44 years old are vulnerable. Therefore, the Uninorte community is also vulnerable. We run a survey among a big group of students here and we noticed that the biggest problem is lack of education. So, 100 students, 50 males and 50 females, aged between 17 and 20. Only two out of eight students are vaccinated against the virus. 83% do not know the symptoms. 90% believe it can only be transmitted through vaginal sex. 100% did not know cancer is linked to HPV. Now we are going to do a game. The game consists in six true or false statements. So please take out your phones and enter to Kahoot. Let's start. The virus can be transmitted without the, pre the, pre the presence of the symptoms. Congrats, Orlando. Okay, there are three stations where you will approach to know more about HPV. The causes, the prevention, and the symptoms and treatment. In this station, I'm going to talk to you about symptoms and treatment for HPV. What do you think the symptoms are? Fever, mm -hmm. wars in the genital part. Mm -hmm. Okay, the symptoms may not appear at first, but they can appear over the years. They start at little words and then they became bigger. They can appear in several parts of the body, especially in the genital parts, as some of you say. Um, they can, especially in the genital parts, in the, in the men they can appear on the penis or the scrotum and in the women they can appear on the vulva or cervix. Uh, they also can appear around the anus. Okay. 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 In this section we will talk about the causes of the HPV. How do you think you can get HPV? Sexually. Okay. The, the HPV start when the virus enter your body throughout out a cut or injury. The virus is transmitted skin to skin contact. If you are pregnant, 
and you have the HPV, the warts multiply rapidly. So the treatment will start when the baby is born. This station is prevention. I will talk to you about the ways to prevent and reduce the risk of get HPV. The importance of this prevention relies on the relation between the virus and the cancers. The HPV cancers include the vagina cancers, the cervix cancers, the vulva, the anus, and also the back of the throat, the tongue, and tonsils. Tonsils. <laughs> the virus cancers usually don't usually don't get symptoms till the cancer is very advanced and becomes hard to treat. So it's important to women to do a screening, regular screening for cervical cancer. So there how do you think you can prevent this virus? With vaccines? Exactly. This vaccine and is given to preteens between 11 and 12 years old, two shots in gaps of five months apart. If the two shots in don't, it's, it's given less than five months apart, it's necessary to shot. In women of 26 years old or more and adolescents of 15 years old or more, it's necessary three shots in six months gut. There are other t types of prevention, like the practicing abstinence, no sex, or being in a monogamous sexual relationship, relationship and also, also condoms, practicing safe sex, but condoms doesn't cover all the genitals. The words can be disappear by themselves, especially in children, but it doesn't mean the virus is gone because the HPV doesn't have a cure. So the words can reappear in the same places they were before or they can appear in other places of the body. Uh, the words can be treated by some medication as salicylic acid that works by removing the layers little by little of the word, or can be treated by other ways uh, as surgical removal, laser removal, uh, can be freezing by uh, liquid nitrogen that is called cryotherapy, and we have the, uh, you can burn them with current, electrical current. This, these are the ways to remove the words. Now that we have visited the three station, what did you learn? It can be transmitted skin to skin contact. The condoms are not enough. Someone else? No. Thank you for your time and we hope you'll be aware of HPV. Thank you. Okay, thank you.